So you remember science class where you would set up an experiment and have to come up with a hypothesis? Well, I've been cooking up a little experiment. And my hypothesis was that if I buy these 18 companies, then I'll have a total return that beats the market. Want to see how my experiment is going? Now, when valuing a company for selection in my portfolio, I'll typically review the PE, earnings per share, payout ratio, five-year dividend growth rate, years of increasing dividend payments, 10-year total return, free cash flow, and the dividend yield. But a couple of months ago, I read the little book of big dividends, a safe formula for guaranteed returns by a Charles B. Carlson. And I learned about some other metrics that I thought deserved some consideration. Mr. Carlson has a proprietary BSD score in Quadrix rating system of the S&P 1500, which I took and then added my own little spin on it so I could create my very own BSD portfolio. Then I made a video about it so I could share what I learned, which I'll link in the comments below so you can check it out for yourself. The bottom line was that I found 18 companies that met both the BSD and the Quadrix rating system and my own little twist and decided that this was worthy of an experiment. Now the total value of all my investing accounts just hit over the $80,000 mark, which feels like an incredible milestone, you guys. So for those of you who might just be starting out, I started with $0, zero, nothing, nada. So it's possible. Just educate yourself and start investing. Now, I primarily use Fidelity for my investments, but I do have an M1 finance account, which I decided would be the perfect place to house my BSD experiment. If you aren't familiar with M1 finance, I'll link the video I did quite some time ago, so don't judge the quality of how poor that video is. But I created my pie so that you can take a peek and see if it might be an investing platform that will work for you. Anyway, I created a slice of pie for these 18 companies, which I named the Big Safe Dividend Slice. And I'm hopeful, of course, for Big Safe Dividends to come out of this experiment because that's what I hypothesize. The first purchases were made on July 10th. And basically, based on the allocations of each company, I've been buying fractional shares worth about five or six dollars of each of the 18 companies every Monday and Tuesday. I decided the BSD slice is going to make up 15% of my M1 account, which right now is currently valued at $11,718.99. If we look at the big safe dividend slice of this pie, you can see it's currently valued at $1,261.93. So overall, the BSD slice only accounts for about 2% of my entire portfolio at the moment. So let's talk a little bit more about the BSD slice, the winners and the losers, because it's been about a month now and I wanted to share my progress so far. Let's start with the sector diversification of this little mini portfolio. Right now, 33% of the companies in my experiment fall into the information technology sector, followed by industrials at 27.8%, financials at 16.7%, materials at 11.1%, and consumer staples and healthcare both make up 5.6% of the portfolio. Now let's touch on the metrics of each of these companies and why I felt like they might be some good investments. I actually have them ranked from lowest to highest 10 year total return, which is inclusive of share price appreciation. Of note is that the current 10 year total return of the S&P 500 stands at 169.60%. Now I'll be honest with you guys, there's a few companies on here that I had never even heard of, but the bottom line was that they were beating the S&P 500 in total return in the last 10 years. Had five year dividend growth rates that ranged between 10% and 21.5%. And and these companies have all been increasing their dividends for greater than 10 years, some all the way up to 25 years. So I figured it was worth learning a little bit more. And if I could develop a portfolio that was safe and paid me consistent growing dividends, I figured it's a worthy experiment. Let's talk about my biggest losers first. Well, let me rephrase that. My biggest unrealized losses, because unless I sell anything, I haven't actually lost anything yet. But still, let's look at the numbers in the spirit of full transparency. Of note here, is that this is all based on share price appreciation as I've only received a dividend from one company so far. And that was Graco, ticker symbol GGG, who, you all need to sit down for this, paid me a whopping three cents. <laughs> so three companies should pay me in the month of August and 11 more should hit in the month of September. It's not yet snowing on me for me to start to pack the ball. Okay, so let's go through the losers. So you can see here, of the losers, I've lost the most, 16.5%, which only equates to $6, you guys, from Little Fuse. Microchip Technologies, I'm down 13.79%. Analog Devices, I'm down 8.76%. Microsoft, I'm down 8%, which who's mad about that? More to buy at a better price. Lincoln Electric Holdings, I'm down 7.6%. Graco, I'm down 6.47%. Snap-on, I'm down 4.84%. Steel Dynamics, I'm down 388 
Nordson, I'm down 3%. Reliance, I'm down 2.4. KLA Corporation, I'm down 1.73. And MasterCard, I'm down 1.06%. Now to the good news. Let's talk about those that have performed the best for me since I started this experiment. So let's scroll on up. It won't take us long because there's only six that are actually in the green. So we've got Visa at a positive 0.64%, Intuit 1.92% in the green, the Kroger Company, I'm up 2.68% for a total whopping 98 cents there, Primerica, I'm up 2.81%, Elephant's Health, up 5.93%, and the biggest winner of all, with a whopping $3.50 in unrealized gain, is Comfort Systems USA with a ticker symbol of FIX, F-I-X, with an 8.15% total return. Something to note is that I'll be adding $200 a week to the slice until it hits the 15% mark. You can see I'm still underweight in the big safe dividend portfolio at 10.7% of my 15% goal. I did just decide to change my automated purchases through M1 to daily purchases. And why not truly dollar cost average into these positions and buy fractional shares daily? So instead of $100 every Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to add $44 each day. Did you guys know that four is my lucky number? Yeah, well, I'm going to roll it. Anyway, did I mention that four of the 18 companies have already announced increases in their dividends? Ford Systems announced a 12.5% increase. Kroger raised their dividend by 11.5%. Nordson Corporation raised their dividend by 4.6%. And Little Fuse increased their dividend from 60 cents up to 65 cents, which is an 8.3% increase. So when all is said and done, the experiment is ongoing, and I remain ever hopeful that my hypothesis will prove to be right. I'm going to stay the course, and I'll keep you all updated as how the experiment turns out over the long haul. Anyone else have an experiment that they're presently working on and have their Bunsen burner fired up? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this slice of the pie, how you think I'm going to make out. Leave me a comment below, and then go and take a peek at this video next. That's so snotty. Do you hear me? I sound like a snot. Snotty. I sound like a ding dong. And that was Graker. Graker. <laughs>